Hello fit and healthy friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness and Nutrition Coaching and we are in a series right now on training for a half marathon. So today is another video in that series. Today is a long run, 11 miles and honestly, I don't really wanna do it. So um, just getting it done today. Um, I'm not actually even feeling super well. I'm not sure if it's allergies or sickness. They're so gonna take it really easy. Zone two, I'll just show you a little bit of what I'm eating, um, taking with me nutrition wise and a few other little tips for you. Um, so here we go, continuing the journey, getting closer and closer to those 13.1 miles. Here's what I have for nutrition and what I'll be taking on the run today. So I always have my Nathan vest. It's really convenient for carrying everything. And then I have about 14 ounces of water in here with a packet of electrolytes. So it's a little bit of carbs and sugar, mostly water. So I'm gonna to try to get through this whole thing. And then energy wise, I'm gonna be doing one Ucan gel, which is about 20 carbohydrates and then try to get through this whole pack of cliff blocks to try and get around 70 carbohydrates. So that's what I'll be doing today. I think in my next video, I will discuss um, more about carbohydrates and actual fueling for your run and what the guidelines are for that. I want to give you a few other little tips, not necessarily training or nutrition related, but I like to give practical tips as well for people who might be newer to running and still learning some things. So a couple little things you might want to try. This is peppermint essential oil inside of coconut, um, fractionated coconut oil. So it's just a little essential oil roller. This can be really helpful to roll on the bottoms of your feet if they get really hot or if you tend to get like calluses or blisters. This helps things to say um, moisturize and avoid that friction that can create pain. I also like to take this sometimes in case of something like a stomach ache or if it's really hot and you want to cool down. Peppermint helps to cool the body and it's very good for helping the stomach to calm down if there's like cramping or tightness or discomfort or gas. This can help with that if you're on like a really long run and want to be comfortable. Another thing is this deep blue stick, or it also comes in a cream from doTERRA essential oils. So this you can just roll or rub on your body. It's just a little stick and it has a blend of essential oils that is really helpful for relaxing muscles and reducing muscle pain temporarily. So I put this on before almost every run and bike. I have very tight calves. I'm having a little bit of a hamstring issue right now. So when I put that on, it helps to calm down the muscles and reduce pain. It's also really, really good for recovery. Um, so before or after runs works. And then one more tip is running sleeves. If you don't have arm sleeves, these are really helpful for if you wanna start your run warm and then you get hot and you wanna remove layers, then sleeves are the perfect thing. If you have something like a running vest or belt and you can just stuff those inside once you warm up. Are you training for something right now? If so, comment below. 5K, 10K, marathon, triathlon. Share in the comments what you're training for, and while you're at it, give this video a like. The 11 mile mark is usually where I start feeling like, what am I doing? Why am I running so long? What am I doing with my life? So a couple little tips to keep you entertained. If you get a little bored running like I do, one is to find a new route. So my husband and I are actually running somewhere we've never run before, but we ride our bikes all the time. Helps the time pass by faster. Second tip is to pray. And I like to use it to just spend time talking to God, asking questions, and asking him to speak. Just saying, what do you want to say to me? And then trying to listen and just be attuned to you and God and just nature around you. That's an awesome way to pass the time and make it a lot more meaningful. And the third tip is to listen to a podcast. I like to use them because I can learn at the same time that I'm out. You know, if I'm going to be out for an hour and a half, two hours, at least I can learn something while I'm out. So I've used podcasts to study more about nutrition, 
fitness, so much you can listen to. So put a book or put a podcast on, really, really helps pass the time. So when I'm eating a gel, I try not to just down the whole thing really quickly because if I eat too much at once, or drink too much at once, I'll get a stomach ache. So if that happens to you, just kind of slowly sip your gels as opposed to squeezing the whole thing into your mouth at once. And it might make it a little bit easier for you to digest if you have GI issues when running.